Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will go through the day 7 problem from August Lead Coding Challenge Vertical Order Traversal of a Binary Tree. Please like the video and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update. Given a binary tree, we need to return the vertical order traversal of its node's value. For each node at position x, y, its left and right children respectively will be at position x minus 1, y minus 1 and x plus 1, y minus 1. Running a vertical line from x equal to minus infinity to x equal to plus infinity, whenever the vertical line touches the same node, we report the value of nodes in order of top to bottom that is decreasing y coordinates. If two nodes have same position, then the value of node that is reported first is the value that is smaller. Return a list of non-empty reports in order of x coordinate where every report will have a list of values of nodes. Let's take this tree and find the coordinate of the nodes. For that, let's take a grid where we have x and y coordinate as shown. The root will always be positioned at 0, 0. 9 and 20 will be one level beneath the root and one step left and right to the root respectively. So, with respect to the root, 9 will be at x minus 1 comma y minus 1 and 20 will be at x plus 1 comma y minus 1. Similarly for this too. Till now we got one node at one coordinate. Now let's take two more nodes and see the effect on the coordinates. With this we can see that there is an overlap in 0 comma minus 2. As we need to add all the node values in same line in one list, we would get a result as shown. Here, there are three things to remember, or you can say three points to consider. First, the ordering in the result is primarily done on basis of x coordinate, starting with the smallest one. Second, for the values in same column, the ordering is done based on rows from top to bottom fashion. And third, for nodes with same x and y coordinate, the one with the lower value must appear first. So, the sorting in this case will be based on the value of node. Summarizing, we need to perform sorting on three parameters, x, y and value. To make this simpler, we will create a custom class and implement a custom comparator or comparable interface that suits our sorting requirement. The class will have three parameters, x coordinate value, y coordinate value and the node value. Let's call this class as location and the implementation of the comparable interface will look like this. In this, we have overridden the compare to method to sort the data primarily based on x in ascending order, then on y in descending order, and lastly on value in ascending order. Now that we have a data structure, we need to traverse the tree and store the value in it. So, we will take a list of location and traverse the tree, which can be done using either BFS or DFS. In our case, let's use DFS. I have not shown the entire tree traversal in this video so as to keep this one brief. You can find the similar video link in top and in the description to get an idea of tree traversal. While traversing, we will store the location of each node in the data structure created. So for root node, the value of x and y will be 0, 0 and the value of its child node would be in respect to the root node. The left child will have the coordinate x minus 1 comma y minus 1 while the right child will have the value x plus 1 comma y minus 1. This would be the value for each node. The list of location after the FS traversal will look like this. Now we would sort the list to obtain the data in correct order. After sorting the location list will look like this. We have the data in correct order. Now we just need to correct the format. So we will prepare the result list from our location list by iterating through it. All the values with same x coordinate would fall in the same list. So we need to compare the x coordinate values in each iteration and bring the same x values together. If x is same, we would need to put the values in same list or create a new one. So the values will get combined in this manner. At the end, we return this result list. Summarizing the steps, we will create a custom class called location with x, y and node value and add a custom sorting to incorporate sorting based on x, y and value. We can either use a comparator or comparable for this. 
we will initialize a list of locations and apply BFS or DFS on tree and store the location for each node in list. After that, we sort the list using the custom sort for the class. We now iterate over the location list and check if current x coordinate is equal to the previous x coordinate. If yes, we add the value associated in the same list. Otherwise, we create a new list and add the value in it. At the end, we return the result list. The time complexity for this algorithm is O of n log n, while the space complexity is O of n. Here's the actual code snippet for the method. You can also check out the link to this code in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Also let me know in the comments what you think about the video.